So I wanted a little bit of a challenge the other day and I took out this lens, which you're not allowed to see because I wanna show you this sequence. I shot the sequence entirely one afternoon with this one particular lens. And I just wanted to see if you can guess how expensive the lens is. So I want you to watch this and when it's done, pause the video, go down to the comments, tell me how much you think the lens costs and then I'll reveal it in the end. And feel free to skip around because the sequence is about two and a half minutes. All right, here we go. Okay, so now that you've watched the clip, what do you think? Don't cheat, don't scroll ahead in the video. <laughs> Pause the video, go down in the comments, tell me how much you think this lens costs. So let me give you a little bit of context. I took this lens out, as I mentioned, just one afternoon. It was overcast, middle of the day, uh, so the light wasn't particularly good, but I was still pretty happy with the results that I was able to get. What did you think? Another good thing to ask yourself would be, well, if I had taken any of the photos or videos in that sequence, would they be satisfactory to me in the kind of photography or videography I want to produce? Okay, so I will not leave you in suspense any longer. So long as you went down in the comments and uh, made your guess. $100? $300? $1,000? $5,000? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you that the lens that I shot that whole clip on was this, the Leica Summicron. Oh, wait, no. This is the Olympus 40 to 150, one, or sorry, 40 to 150, 4 to 5.6. Now, I want you to look at this. I know that you're, you're lusting after my gear right now. Maybe we need some better lighting. Hold on. All right, look at this. Look at this bad boy. You hear that? Nice plastic construction. 
a four to 5.6 aperture, what every photographer dreams about. We've got this cool Tiffin uh, dirty UV filter on the top there. Nice plastic build, you know, good cheap feel, plastic lens cap. Ooh, we got some dust under the lens there. That's, that's good. And then, uh, ooh, yes, a little uh, sticky bit of zoom action going on. Hello, little ants. Yes, I know that you wish you had this lens. Now I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, holy cow, I wish I had this guy's kit. So here's the reason I wanted to make this video. And here's the reason I asked you if you would be happy with any of those photos or videos that I showed previously. It's because I was kind of happy with them. Uh, they turned out better, I guess, than I expected. But in all seriousness, this is a kit lens. This was paired with a bunch of cheaper uh, Olympus bodies back in the day. It may still be, I don't know, along with the 14 to 40, which is about the same build quality. But the reason that I wanted to make this video was, is after I took this lens out, took those photos and those videos, I was pretty happy with the results. And it was a good reminder to me that money isn't everything. If you're like me, you love watching uh, reviews and camera reviews and lens reviews on YouTube. And unfortunately, they're always comparing the old lenses with the new lenses, and it's just this revolving door. So they're always telling you why you need to spend the extra $300 to get the, the better, to upgrade your kit lens or to go with the pro lens and spend an extra $1,000. And here's all the reasons why. And it can leave people feeling like, wow, you know, all I have is a kit lens. I guess I'm not a real photographer. I guess I can't produce good content. And I think that's just absolutely not true. I just wanted to make this video as an ode and honor to kit lenses. Still out there doing their job. And I want people to know that if you're a kit lens person, if that's all you can afford, or maybe you just don't want to upgrade, or you have a family and you have priorities as far as how you spend your money and spending it on $1,500 lens isn't uh, one of those priorities, you can make as good a content as anybody. At the end of the day, it's not really the gear that matters. Does it help? Sure. Does it make your job easier? Sure. You work hard enough though, you can make tremendous content with a lens like this. If history has taught us one thing, it's that great art isn't bought. It's created in the mind of the artist. And now as an ultimate challenge, we're gonna take this kit lens and see if we can get any good footage in low light on a micro four thirds camera with a four to 5.6 aperture. <laughs> Here we go.